Hello everyone and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. Today I'm going to be doing a playthrough solo of Not Dice. I had to pick this up when I saw this because it's a Celtic design dice and it has two games, or three I think, three different games that are cooperative or solo in nature. And I thought, oh my gosh, why would I not do this? <laughs> the dice look awesome. You create uh, uh, the Celtic knots, so some, something that looks kind of like this, and you're rolling dice, it's great. So this game takes like one minute to set up, so we'll do a setup and a playthrough. And I'm actually gonna do two playthroughs in this video, and I'll put uh, a link down below for, or a timestamp, I should say, for both games. So if you start seeing one, you wanna see the other, you can. Um, the first one is just gonna be called Kells, and then the second one is gonna be called Kells the Abbey. Now, I'm not gonna do the full story of Kells the Abbey, I'm just gonna do one round and show you how it works, but then we'll do the full game of Kells, just because they're pretty quick. The first one we're gonna play is Kells, because this one's a little bit simpler. You get your uh, 18 dice all nice and in a pile here, and you're gonna grab two of them and roll them, and they're gonna become your two that are in your reserve, so to speak. We'll give our two a shake. Nice, and so we have these two designs to use at the beginning. At the beginning of each round, so we're starting round one, we grab one of these dice and roll it and add it to our reserve. So whenever we're doing an action, we'll always have three dice to choose from until we get to the end. And we get, oh, cool, this design. Now we start adding dice one at a time onto the board. And what matters is when you place dice, they have to be able to connect to the die that you're placing here. So you can see, if I started with this one, I could place this here, but I couldn't place this die like that. And our goal is to create one entire design with all 18 dice, and it all has closed ends. So none of them have an end like this, where the knot looks like it should go on. All of them should be closed at the end. If we can do that, we win the game. We do get two mulligans in the game. If I have these three dice and I can't place any of them, I can discard one and then we would draw another one for the next round and roll it. Here's the thing, if we discard a total of three uh, dice, we lose the game. So the two ways we lose are discarding too many dice, so that's three or more, or we have a knot that does not, um, is not fully completed. So there's an open spot in some location. You ready? Let's start. So I think I am gonna start with this die. This is called the crossing die, just because <laughs> you can place pretty much any die around it, which is nice. Now we start the next round, and we'll draw another die and roll it. Ooh, okay. Now I get to decide which one I wanna place. So I think I'm gonna place this die right here. So that means we've got this whole area open, but I'm kind of blocking off this area. Next round. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna take the die I just rolled, and place it right here. So it's kind of starting to build the knot. This will be a corner and we're gonna move this way. We also still have to deal with up here though. Next round. Oh, another one of these, nice. I know I seem to keep using just the new dice, but I just really like how that looks. That gives us lots of open areas that we can place dice. Let us grab another, another one of those. Man, those crossing dice. <laughs> I think I'm gonna place this one here as well. But now I'm getting a bunch of open spaces I'm gonna need to make sure to close off. Next round. Okay, there we go. The one I just rolled, I'm going to place right up here. And that's gonna close the knot up there. And these poor two beginner dice, still not using them. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use one of the two that I, I initially rolled and place this guy right here. Now I've got two end cap dice. That's not bad. Ooh, that would be called a branch die. Let's place the branch die right here. Gosh, doesn't that just look pretty? I just love how these dice look, and they are chunky dice. We only have eight dice left in the pool, okay? <laughs> Let's give a roll, so we're running out of time fast. I'm gonna take that rounded corner die and place it right here. Let's give her another roll. Ooh. What I think I'm gonna do next is actually use one of my end cap dice and end this uh, right here. Six more dice. A sharp corner. We're gonna take that sharp corner and place it 
here. Now we can do that, and these two aren't connected because it's still connected to the actual knot itself. We couldn't start a new row here where we would only be placing it onto another die that is not connected to um, the entire knot. We have to have it connect to the knot. But then if it's sitting next to one back to back like this, that's fine. We might be pigeonholing ourselves here a little bit. Let's see what happens. Oh, another what, rounded corner? We're gonna use that rounded corner and we're going to go like this and finish that row. That means our only open spot is right here. And we still have four dice plus R2 in the pool that we need to be able to place. Next round. Oh, another end cap. We're gonna try and branch out here, let's see. So if I go like this with my rounded edge, I can still go here. But now I only have two end caps and I'm, I'm starting to really pigeonhole myself. Three more in the pool. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's what we needed. That should work because we'll place that crossing right here and that opens up a couple more places for us. Only two left. Let's see. Oh, another one of those? That's not good. I think instead of placing that one, we're gonna place one of our end caps right here. Okay, we have one more die to roll, and then if we only have two dice left, we can take one of them and re-roll them if we want, which is nice. And same thing with when we only have one die. But we're trying to place all of them if we can. Ooh. Okay, this, this is gonna have to be an end cap. And we need to somehow make it so we can do one more die here and then have an end cap here. This is where a little bit of luck can go a long way. <laughs> Let's roll this one. Oh, will that work? Well, it technically would work right here, but let me see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, might as well do it. Let's roll our final die. We're looking for an end cap. That's really the only thing that's gonna make it for us. Come on, Irish luck. Yes! And we can place that right here. And that completes our knots with no opening anywhere on the knot. Wow. So now we can judge our score. So what we do is we count the number of dice in your completed design and subtract the longest dimension of the design. So our longest dimension is six, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we have six. We use all 18. So 18 minus six is 12. And that, according to this, is good math or something like that, which means good. So we did, we did a good job, <laughs> yeah. Now let's move on to the Abbey. Okay, so we're gonna use the same 18 dice. We're gonna do the same thing, grab two, roll them initially, and then we'll grab one each round and roll it, and we'll have three to choose from. The difference is we're gonna be stacking. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be stacking the dice, trying to make the knots going up and down. And in this one, unlike the other one where we couldn't place a die next to one where it didn't connect, we can do that here because we, we very likely are going to need to on the bottom level. Let's see, so like, like this, that's totally fine. But you can have the knot going down into the ground because of course you need this all to connect. So you can't have it, <laughs> you can have it up like this and then maybe have this one like that and then this one could be like so. And then what we can do is, okay, well then we'll place this one right here, and so forth, so on and so forth. So, let's move these out of the way. We'll roll our initial two dice. Okay, so these are our two dice that we can use initially. And then we'll roll this one, and we have these three to choose from. And you can choose any of the sides. You can't turn the die, so I can only use these sides and in the, uh, the, the way that they're set. And once again, if I discard three or more, we lose the game. So like I could start with this guy like this, or I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this guy. Let's see, we'll start him over here, right there. So this guy, he's not pointing down into the table, and we should be able to connect something here, we can also connect something up here. So we have these two available to us, let's roll our next die. Ooh, okay, that's an end cap facing up. Uh, none of those other die sides work. This guy will work. He can go like this, I 
think that may be what we want to do because this guy is not going to be great either. So yeah, let's end it with that one. Now let's roll our third dice. We still have these two available. Here's our third. Uh, let's see. We want something. Oh, okay. So, no, that does not work. <laughs> we'll place this one here. And that's going to start pushing the design this way. Cool. Let's go to the next one. Oh, yes. That's awesome. Look at this. Just like that. And that looks really nice. Bringing the design over. Let's draw our next die. Let's point to the ground. I need something that's going to connect on the right. Oh. I might have just screwed myself over. Oh, this works. <laughs> okay, let's see. Third die. Okay, that's another one of these. I, unfortunately, it's probably going to be the one that we need to use. Yep. Or I could use it up here. That'll work. <laughs> All right, let's roll our next one. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Can I not roll a die a different way? Really? Okay. We'll place that there. Okay, come on. Give this one a good shake. I'm rolling with my left hand. Maybe that's why. Are you serious? It's in the same... Okay. This is, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Let's roll the next one. Here we go. This is what I wanted to see. Because then we can start bringing the design up. And then we've got this to start branching in a lot of different ways. Okay. Let's roll this die. Ooh, I have the branch right there. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, I draw the next one. <sighs> Let's see. Can I use that? Ah, that would stink. Another double, but I'm already going to have to go... I could do something like this and bring the design back. I might do that, but I still need to build up two at least and get an end here. Let's roll the next one. Hmm. Oh, perfect. That can be an end like this. Okay. And... The fun part is looking at the sides of all these dice. I love it. Yes! Look at that. Right there. That connects into the main design. Perfect. Okay, so we got these two. Come on! Oh, all right. If I did that, that would close it, so I don't want to do that. I can't place that one. I can't place, I can't place anything that's pointing down. Oh, this one might work. If I place this here. Yep, but then that means I've got to get one here and one here. Okay, I only have a few dice left. Hmm. This guy's pointing down. This guy's pointing the wrong way. That's too many dang connections. Nope. Okay, this one. Ooh, I could place this one up here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I got one more die here. Give it a roll. Oh, yeah. That'll fit. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Oh, nuggets. Because that's pointing up. Oh, this is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, because that'll close that loop. So now we just need these two. Let me make sure. I can't use either one of these in this spot because they all have something pointing down. So let me re-roll this one. Oh, come on. Down. That's pointing up. Over. Oh, I think we just lost. Bummer. So I'm going to discard this one. Let's roll this one. OK, well, this got us close. We could place this here. But then we have one opening, so we failed. Ah, oh, man. But yeah, you can see, quick little puzzle. It's fun. I really like looking at the sides of the dice, and it just looks really cool. But yeah, that's the Abbey.